Spiegels, they just want everybody's food. They attack people. They're annoying sometimes. A lot of people are scared of the birds. Not very nice. The flying rats of the shore. One of the major problems this town has faced is gulls that are acting very poorly. They attack people, um, they come down, swoop, steal food, you know, and it's a nuisance. I'm Mark Quinette. I'm a falconer for East Coast Falcons, and we're here in Ocean City, New Jersey, where we take care of the pesky seagulls that like to steal your food. <laughs> it became such a problem that the mayor had had enough, you know, and he was trying to figure out ways to do this. And what we provide is a natural means of doing that by introducing a predatory animal to this area. When you introduce a bird of prey, these birds learn very quickly that this is not their area anymore, that it's being patrolled by something much fierce than them. And, you know, a bird's not gonna swoop down on your food if we have a hawk sitting up on a pole or we got a falcon up in the sky. It'll clear the whole boardwalk and people can enjoy their food. This is our hawk house or our muse. This is where, you know, we keep all the birds while we're working them in the summertime. There's plenty of space for them to relax and, you know, we have falcons, we have a lot of hybrid falcons and Harris hawks right now. Karen is the loudest bird in the birdhouse and she, there she goes. Uh, she wants to see the manager, always. She's a really sweet bird though, she really is. You know, they've worked here for four years now, so they know the area really well, they know where they're going. Um, I'll typically walk to the north end, all the way to the north end. I'll walk up on the beach, I'll go from the beach and I'll zigzag up and cross all the way down to the south end. And that pushes the birds north, south, and out to the ocean, you know. Sometimes out to the bay too. Abatement work is more of a humane way of dealing with issues like this. We typically keep the birds at a weight where they're not actively hunting these animals, but they are just putting on a, enough of a display to keep them at bay where they're like, they don't want any part of it, you know? Honestly, when I walk up and down the boardwalk all day, I mean, we're doing eight to 12 hour shifts every day. Um, we get nothing but compliments from people that are that really have noticed the difference we made, you know, and the fact that I can look down the boardwalk right now and I barely see any birds. Most people that are walking by are like, thank you so much, like, I really see the difference, you know, I've been coming here for years, and me as a person that grew up here, like, I know firsthand what it can be like being attacked like that. Pretty bird, right? Yeah, yeah if it makes the people happy and, you know, it's part of just my job and as to what I'm doing and, you know, it's just all part of it. It really does make a difference.